the pediatric balance scale. Uh, it is composed of 14 different items. It's comparable to the Berg balance scale. This is for children. Um, each of the 14 trials can be scored on a basis of zero to four, four being the best possible score, zero being the worst. And each task can be given a demonstration for it and the, children, uh, the child rather can receive a practice trial. Uh, for each of the items, if they're unable to complete the task based on their ability to kind of like understand the directions, a second practice trial may be given as well. Um, and verbal and visual uh, directions may be clarified through the use of physical uh, props. This is the pediatric balance scale. All right, so for the first test, Mike, what we're gonna have you do is you're going to raise your hands up and stand up. Whenever you're ready. Good. And then sit back down. Good. All right, Mike, I'm going to have you put your hands up and stand up. Nice job. And sit back down. All right, nice job. All right, Mike, I'm going to have you put your hands up and stand up. Nice job. And I'm going to have you sit back down. Good. So for a sit to stand, a one would be if the child needed a minimal assist to stand in order to stabilize, and a zero would be if they needed a moderate or maximal assist to stand. And then for the stand to sit test, a one would be a score if they were sitting independently but had an uncontrolled descent, and a zero would be if they needed assistance to sit. Alrighty, Mike, what I want you to do is you're sitting there, I want you to sit in this chair, and then I want you to come back and sit back in that chair. Alright? Nice job, and then I'll have you return to that chair. Good. Alrighty, Mike, what I want you to do is uh, transfer and sit in that chair, and then I'm going to have you return to that chair, okay? Alright. Nice job. And I'll have you return. Good. Nice job. Sit in that chair, and then I want you to return and sit back in the chair you were in. All right. Okay. And be right next to you. All right. Nice job. All right. Good. Nice job. I'm gonna have you return to this chair now. Right. And back down. Good. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> so for a uh, one on the transfer test. It would be if the uh, child needed one person to assist them with the motion, and a zero would have been if they needed two people to assist or supervise and be in a close guard to make sure they were safe. All right, Marissa, what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you step your feet onto those little footprints right there, and then you're gonna stand there for 30 seconds and you can't touch anything, okay? Okay. All right, get it? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll have you step on and just stand. All right, 30 seconds, good job. All right, Marissa, what I'm going to have you do is just stand, but we're going to have you stand on the little footprints, okay? Okay. All right, so you want to step onto them, and I'm going to time you, okay? Go. All right. Good, 30 seconds. All right, so Marissa, we're going to have you stand onto these little footprints right here, and we're going to have you just stand there for 30 seconds if you can, okay? Okay. Okay. We're ready. And good. Okay, good, that was 15 seconds, that was good, nice job. All right, so if she were to have needed um, several tries to stand for 10 seconds, that would have given her a score of a one, and she would still be unsupported for that though. And if she was able to stand for 10, or if she was unable to stand for 10 seconds, unassisted, she would have gotten a score of a zero. Additionally, if she was able to stand for the full 30 seconds, unsupported, she would also res uh, receive a full score for the next test being sitting unsupported, and you could skip that item. Alright, so what I'm going to have you do is just sit with your arms across your chest and I'm going to try to sit there for 30 seconds, okay? Okay. Good. Whenever you're ready. Good. Alright, 30 seconds. Nice job. Alright, Marissa, what I'm going to have you do is try and sit with your hands across your chest and we're going to try to stay there for 30 seconds, okay? Okay. Alright, whenever you're ready. It's okay. 
in 30 seconds. Nice job. If she were to have only been able to sit for 15 seconds, she would have received a score of a 2. If she was unable to sit for 10 seconds, she would have received a 1. And if she was unable to sit for 10 seconds without um, support, she would have gotten a 0. Alright, Marissa, what I'm going to have you do is step onto the footprints right here. And then we're going to have you stand with your eyes closed. So uh, when I say close your eyes, I want you to stand there and then don't open them until I say open. Okay? All right, and you can close your eyes. And good, that was 10 seconds. Nice job. Step off the footprints again. All right, Marissa, we're gonna have you do is step onto the footprints again. Okay. And then when I say so, I want you to close your eyes and stand still, and then don't open them until I say okay. All right. Okay. And close your eyes. That's 10 seconds, good. Yeah. So if she was able to stand for three seconds with her eyes closed, um, she would have gotten a uh, two. If she was unable to stand uh, with her eyes closed for three seconds, but she stayed steady, she would have received a one. And a zero would have been if she needed help to keep from falling. All right, Mike, so what I want you to do is um, with your feet together, you can step on to the footprints there. And I want you to just hold it. Great, 30 seconds. All right, Mike, I want you to just stand there for 30 seconds, okay? Awesome, 30 seconds is up. Okay, so a two would be if he was able to get his feet together onto the footprints, um, but he couldn't hold for 30 seconds. A one would be if he needed help to get his feet together onto the footprints, but he could hold for 30 seconds. And then a zero would be if he needed help to get into position, and then he also couldn't hold for 30 seconds. All right, Mike, so what I want you to do is put one foot in front of the other and have your heel touch your toe, and I want you to just hold for 30 seconds. Awesome, great job. All right, Mike, so now I want you to put one foot in front of the other. Try and hold that as long as you can, all right? And 30 seconds, good work. So for a two for this test would be if they could take a small step forward independently and hold that for 30 seconds, or if they require assistance um, to place the foot in front, but they can hold it for 30 seconds. And then a one would be if they need help to step and they can hold it for 15 seconds. And a zero would just be if they lose balance during their step or while they're standing. All right, Mike, so what I want you to do is I want you to step onto that footprint and you're going to stand on one leg for as long as you can, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead. All right, 10 seconds. Awesome. So um, if he was able to do that for five to nine seconds, that would be a three. Um, if he could hold it for three to four seconds, that would be a two. Um, if he tries to lift his leg, and then he's unable to hold it for three seconds, um, but he still remains standing, that would be a one. And then a zero would be if he was unable to try or he needed assistance to prevent a fall. All right, Christian, so now what I want you to do is try and turn all the way around in a circle, one way, and I'll have you turn around the circle the other way. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect, that would be a four. All right, so for this test, a three would be if they can turn 360 degrees um, one way in four seconds or less, but then they turn the other way in more than four seconds. A two would be if they could complete the 360 turn safely, but really slowly. A one would be if they need really close supervision or spotting or constant verbal cueing throughout the, the spin. And then a zero would be if they need assistance while turning. All right. Christian, so I want you to keep your feet still, and then I want you to look at this ball and keep your eyes on it, okay? Good. Go the other way. So keep your eyes on it and your feet still. Good. All right, Christian, so with your feet still, I want you to focus on the ball. So keep your feet still and keep your eye on the ball. Okay, good. 
So that was a three. Uh, two would be if Christian were to turn his head only to his shoulder on both sides. A one, he would need supervision and he'd be able to move the chin greater than half the distance to his shoulder. While a zero, he would need assistance from losing balance or falling over and movement of the chin is less than half the distance to the shoulder. All right, so Mike, I'm gonna put this in front of your right foot and I just want you to pick it up, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in front of you and I just want you to pick it up, okay Mike? Good. So that was a three. If he was unable to pick up the eraser, <laughs> but he was one to two inches from the eraser and keeps his balance, it's a two, it's a one. If he's unable to pick up the eraser and needs supervision. And a zero is he's unable to try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, so for this test, what I want you to do is tap your foot on the stool, uh, alternating each feet, and you can stop after each foot touches four times. Ready? Yep, go ahead. All right, that was less than 20 seconds, so that's a four. All right, so for a three, uh, that would be if he was able to stand independently and could complete those eight steps, again, but this time greater than 20 seconds. A two would be if he could do four steps without any assistance, but needed close supervision or spotting. Um, a one would be if he could only complete two steps with a minimal assist, and then a zero would be if he needed assistance to maintain the ba his balance to keep from falling, or if he's unable to try. Hi Christian, so for this test what I want you to do is reach your arm out in front of you and make a fist and then I want you to reach forward as far as you can uh, keeping your feet on the ground. So whenever you're ready. Okay, and come back. Good, so that was more than 10 inches, so that's a four. Um, if he was only able to do five inches safely, that would be a three. If he could only do two inches, that would be a two. A one would be uh, if he could reach forward but needed supervision or spotting. And then a zero if, was if he lost his balance when trying to reach forward or if he required external support.